Hey, in this video, I'm gonna use the free software GIMP to make App Store promotional screenshots for my game Chesscraft. And that's just like the ones you see here. And this is a passion project, not a job. So all things considered, I really love how these images turned out. Now as for design, I'm a programmer, not an artist. So I wanted to see what other apps were doing. So I figured if anyone's gonna get it right in the Google Play Store, it's gonna be Google Maps. And that's when I realized that these screenshot uh, pictures are not just screenshots. They're actually, there's a little template around it. There's some text and fading and a blurred background. So I really wanted to go for this style. So the first step, of course, is just to go through your app and just take a uh, hundred screenshots. And I did that and then just trimmed them down to the ones that were representative. That's these eight we have here. So if you're not sure how to take a screenshot on your phone, you just Google, you know, the model screenshot. And in my case, it was holding the power button and the volume button down, and then transferring these files, you know, anywhere you want onto your computer. I used FTP, but you could use a USB or Google Drive or even email yourself. Now I realized later, I actually show the debug button on the top left here, it's blue. It actually doesn't show up in my release, but you know what, I just don't think anyone will notice or care. So don't be a perfectionist, I guess. Next, you need an empty template of a generic phone, either an iPhone or an Android phone. So I just Googled this and I found something that had the same size pictures as my Moto G. And it can be nice too to get one that's also transparent. So if you click and you see this checkerboard, this light gray checkerboard, that means that's gonna be transparent. So that's a good one. So in GIMP, we're going to do top left, file new. And you're gonna to wanna to pick a pretty big size because it's easier to make a big picture small, but it's really hard to make a small picture big. It blurs it. So something big like that, okay. And whatever Android template you got, just click and drag it into GIMP. If we hold control and mouse wheel to zoom out, we're gonna have to shrink this down a little bit. So the scale tool is shift T. And now you can click, but we don't wanna squish it. So hold control so that it keeps its aspect ratio and click scale. Now M for move and move it somewhere nice. And we don't want this white background. So on the top right, right click, delete layer on background. Now we also wanna cut away this Google page we see on the phone. So with a rectangle select or press R, first just take a shot at removing that. I'm gonna actually remove these lower buttons as well. And if you zoom up, you click anywhere in this box and you can adjust what you're gonna cut. And I'm gonna just make sure that I actually get the blurry orange line too, and that's there because we scaled it down. And we can cut a little extra, it's really not gonna be a problem. Once it's about right, you press delete. And here's our template, ready to go. Next, we wanna do some text and we need a font. And if you just Google free fonts TTF, you'll find a lot of different examples. And this is the one I went with. And if you can, try to make sure that it's a free license. Now you can't just always trust these websites. You know, they say it's a free license. Is it actually? Um, I just made sure that my cherry cream soda font that I chose is stated as GPL public domain all over the place. So. I guess that's good. But maybe one website copied one website and copied another website. But I do think this is a Creative Commons sort of uh, font. So you download that TTF file, and depending on if you're Windows, Mac, or Linux, you can Google how to add fonts to GIMP. For me, it was just putting it in a folder and restarting GIMP. So now on the top left, when I click the text tool and you click and drag a box, and type something like, learn the rules of chess by playing simple variants. And it's tiny, so control A to select everything and the pop up here, I'm gonna raise the size. The font's off, so on the far left, click the AA and scroll up or around and find your font or pick one that's already there. Make it fit on the far left, Click the thing to center it. 
And right here, we're gonna change the color to gold. Okay, so pretty good. Next up, let's do the background. Now in my case, I already have some art available that I've made for my game. There's the Creative Commons Chesscraft art. And there's this map that I drew and uh, assembled with GIMP. But really, like you see in the Google Maps, you can just choose any background you can find and use that. Now because this is a big image, I'm going to avoid some problems and actually open it as a new tab on top here. Because, for example, if I just clicked and dragged my map onto here, it may end up being cut off. So I try to resize, and now it's resizing only what we saw, and it's losing the rest of the map. So that's no good. So I'm going to undo that, and instead I'm going to right-click Open with GIMP, or from GIMP, File Open. That's going to open a new tab. And I want to blur this, so we're going to do filters, blur, blur. There's also the blur tool on the left if you want to get specific, but I'm going to hit the whole image and do filters, repeat, blur. And I'm going to do this actually quite a few times. And once you feel that's adequately blurred, you can do control A, control C to copy the whole thing. Go back into this tab and control V and it pasted into the image area of the font of the text I just did. So control Z, undo that. And we're going to do layer, layer to image size. And now paste that. And that's better. And I'm actually going to make this image bigger with shift T, the resize, again holding control. And the reason I did that is so that all my different pictures, I can have different shots of this map, and it looks like a different background each time. Now on the top right, you're going to see floating selection, so a weird pasted layer. So we're going to do layer to new layer to make it a normal layer. And we want this to be underneath everything else, so click and drag it down. Okay, so next up, you notice now the text is hard to read because it's bright. And I remembered in Google Maps it was white, so what did they do? Well, they actually have a dark gradient on the top. And there's a lot of ways you can do this, but here's how we're going to do it. Layer, new layer, okay. And we're going to use the bucket fill, shift B, and just click. So that's going to make this black area. And if you find it's on top or below of something, just rearrange your layers. Now we actually want most of this black to be transparent and just the top to be a little bit opaque. So on the top right, we're going to right click, add layer mask. And now there's two pieces to this layer. There's the one on the left, which is our image, which is just black. And the one on the right is a black and white sort of gray image that describes how transparent different parts of our black image are. So if I were to take the blend tool and notice the my two colors here are black and white. If I take the blend tool and I just click and drag, now we're controlling how this is going to be transparent. So it looks like what we're going to want to do is click on the bottom and go up. And if you hold control, you can lock it to be perfectly vertical. And we're just going to play around with that until it looks about right. So how about we start near the top and go right past the top. And that looks perfect. So let's keep that. Finally, let's put in our screenshot. And since this image is going to be smaller than the rest of our image, we can just click and drag and it should work. And again, rearranging it so that it's where you want it to be. We want it to be underneath the Android template. And we're going to want to move and resize this so that it fills it up with Shift T and hold Control. It's OK if it overlaps a little bit because the template is going to cut off any overlap. OK, so now we're going to want to save this and we're going to do it with two file types. The first one, File Save As, XCF, and this is a GIMP format. So this is going to remember all of our layers and our settings. So save as an XCF. And now we can 
come back to this and keep editing later if we want. We're also going to export as 1.png, just dot .png is enough, or you can pick from the bottom right here all kinds of stuff. There's a few settings there, but just click export. You can play with those if you want. Okay, so here's our exported image, and it's looking pretty good. So you can download GIMP for free. I obviously highly recommend it, uh, Windows, Mac, or Linux. You can find links to GIMP and my Creative Commons art assets in the video description. And if you have any ideas for next video, please let me know. Also, the full version of Chesscraft is free to play, so check it out. And thanks for watching.